Hi, I'm Dr Julia Humes and I'm part of the Beo and Beyond team at this year's online Royal Society Summer Showcase. We're a collaborative team between the universities of Oxford and York and today I'm going to talk to you about the research we've been doing into how we can stop body odour. But before we can stop BO, we first need to understand where it comes from. For this, we need to start with your sweat. We produce sweat from two main types of glands on our skin. The first are eccrine glands and they're found all over the body, but they're mainly concentrated on the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. The eccrine glands secrete sweat mainly made up of water and salts when we exercise. And this is what keeps us cool. The second type of glands are called apocrine glands, and they're mainly found in the armpits and the genitals. And they secrete a thick fluid when we're stressed. So this is the sweat you'll get just before a first date or a job interview. And it's made up of complex molecules that are actually odorless when secreted. So if sweat itself has no smell, where does BO come from? Well, that's where your bacteria come in. You may know, or have been told by many yogurt adverts, that you have trillions of friendly bacteria living in your gut that are beneficial for your health. And this is known as your gut microbiome. But you also have another microbiome on your skin. Your skin is home to friendly microbes that live together in communities all over the body. And the skin microbiome comprises of bacteria, fungi, and viruses. However, however, bacteria make up most of this population. In general, the skin is quite an inhospitable place for bacteria to live. It's quite dry, can quickly go through changes in temperature and moisture, and is also exposed to UV rays from the sun. But there are some bacteria that have evolved alongside humans to thrive here and can actually be very useful to us. The bacteria on your skin have been shown to improve the physical barrier to stop pathogens getting into your cells. They can secrete antimicrobials to kill harmful bacteria, and they can also communicate with our immune systems to target the bad bacteria and keep the good. As we have different areas on our skin that vary in conditions, there's specialised bacteria that prefer some regions to others. And because of this, you will find unique colonies that have evolved to live together in specific sites on your skin. And some of these bacteria have found a moist, nutrient-rich environment on our skin with all the food they could need. And this is your armpit. Your armpit is a tropical paradise for bacteria. <laughs> and you'll find the greatest number of bacteria here per centimeter squared compared to anywhere on the body. Lurking in your armpit are specific bacteria such as Carinibacterium and Staphylococci. And these bacteria can recognize the molecules from our apocrine sweat, so the sweat we secrete when we're stressed, and they can use this, these molecules for their food. But they're also responsible for making us smelly. And one of the main culprits for this is Staphylococcus hominis. And down the microscope, it looks like this. So Staphylococcus hominis, or S. hominis, is a friendly bacterium that has evolved to thrive in our armpits. It can seek out particular molecules in our armpit sweat that no other microbes can. And these molecules are called thiols that are rich in sulfur. And sulfur is actually the element that you get from a rotten egg smell. So there's no surprise as to why we find it so unpleasant. So how do we get from sweat and bacteria to BO? Well, this is the chemistry behind your body odour. Staphylococcus hominis takes up a specific molecule from your apocrine sweat called cisgly3m3sh that looks like this and i also have a model to show you so this mo this molecule is specifically recognized by the transporters on the staphylococcus hominis surface and taken up into its cells it then undergoes 
two specific enzymatic cleavage reactions to remove this part of the molecule and then to remove this part of the molecule, leaving behind this byproduct. So it takes these two away for its food and it releases this back out of the cells onto our skin. So this is the sulfur-containing thiol that is then evaporated from our skin and is uh, recognised by our olfactory receptors in our noses as body odour. So this is the 3M3SH, with the S being for the uh, sulphur. So most people describe body odour as a cheesy, oniony, um, musty kind of smell, uh, but it's usually described as pretty unpleasant. So what if we could prevent the production of this smelly 3M3SH molecule without harming the useful bacteria on our skin. So how do we stop BO? Currently, the most popular method of dealing with body odour is by using antiperspirants. And these antiperspirants contain aluminium compounds that mix with the moist environment in our armpits to block your pores and stop us from sweating. So this means there's no sweat, this means there's no population of odourless molecules for hominis to turn into smelly ones. But we've been looking at a more targeted approach to, uh, to target the hominis itself. So this would prevent the disruption of our armpit microbiome while still keeping us smelling fresh. On a molecular level, even bacteria within the Staphylococcus genus have individual transporter proteins on its cell surface that um, take up the molecules that it needs. And it also has specific enzymes within its cells. And we've recently discovered the complex structures of these um, transporter molecules and the enzymes. And we've also found out that only Staphylococcus hominis can take up these um, precursor molecules to break them down into the smelly ones. So with this knowledge, we have been looking at how we can either target the transporter molecule to stop the precursor getting into the cells, or how we can inhibit the enzymes they need to break down this cisgly 3M3SH into the smelly 3M3SH molecule. So next time you are putting on your deodorant in the morning, uh, look at the back of it, see what compounds are in there and think about how they might interact with your skin and how they might uh, interact with the microbes that live on your skin. If you want to find out more, please check out our website, beyondweb.ox.ac.uk. Uh, where you can find out more about our research and you can play our backman game where you can be Staphylococcus hominis yourself and run around and collect the uh, molecules I've been discussing today. Thank you very much for listening.